Market Competition, Part 1. Earlier, we worked on cost curve graphs. Now we're going to look at the perfectly competitive market. Now, looking at these graphs, are, are there any questions? Just kidding you. By the end of the videos on perfect competition, you will be able to read this graph. When we looked at the characteristics of perfect competition, you know that there are many, many buyers and sellers. You know that the individual firms are price takers and not price searchers. You know that there's easy entry and easy exit to get in and out of this market. All the products produced in this market are homogeneous or identical. There are no barriers to entry. If you want to get into this market, you can get into this market. And there's perfect information. There is perfect information. What this means is that information is distributed freely, quote unquote, throughout this entire market. So sellers are pretty well informed and buyers are well informed. One of the best examples that is used for perfect competition is the farming industry. I come from a really large family of eight kids. Reason that my mom and dad had eight kids is because they needed some workers to work the land. This is where I learned about exploitation of labor. Here I am here. The problem though with farming nowadays is there's different hybrids of seeds. You could tell that some corn will yield more per acre than other corn planted at the same time. And so even in a perfectly competitive market, there really aren't products out there that are truly homogeneous.